okay so okay so if you have this ssh permission deny or the public key error then how do you solve it okay for example this is my uh, ubuntu okay the client here and another ubuntu is my server okay so i want to remove access from my client to the server okay this server have a user id ubuntu so i ssh ubuntu app and okay we have a public ip and private ip i can use either one so let me try the pirate first finger ping yes and okay so i have this error right permission deny public key error so how to solve this one Okay, to solve this error in the client side, you need these three files inside this folder. Okay, in the server, you need this file. So let me try, okay, let me fix the client side first. So first, I go to the SSH folder. Okay, so inside my SSH folder, I don't have this three file. So I have to create this three file. So first, I create this private key and public key. So I can use this command. And enter the file name. So you can be any file name. Let me use my file name help. Robot. and pass phase i just press the enter okay enter enter so now i should have these two file one is uh, without attention the other one with attention uh, pub so this is my private key and this is my public key. Okay, my public key install. My public key is stored inside this file. Okay, and then I need another file. It's called config. So how do I create? I use the nano. Must name it as config. Then inside the config, I need the I. Uh, identity identity file and the part or the location of my file so I just now I create my key with a name help robot right so this is the name that I create for my key just now and it's located inside this folder ss6 identity file so it should be okay. So I need this sentence inside my config file. Okay. So done. I control X. Yes. Enter. So let's check what inside the config. Okay. So inside the config file, I have this sentence. and then let's see what's the file i have inside this ssh now i have these three file config the private key and also the public key okay another thing is we need to change the permission of the file okay so we need to only have only allow the user to have the read and write permission so i can do it by using the change mode and change to 600 so 600 is read write for the user for all the file ok 
Okay, so after this comment, all my file is changed to read and write. Okay, so we're done for the client. Now we should go to the server. So for the server, I need only this file. So again, we go to SSH and let's see what the file inside. So basically, I have I don't have any file inside my uh, SSH for the server. So I have to create this file. So I use a nano and the name of the file. Okay, authorized key. Okay, so inside the authorized key, I need the public address of my uh, client. So I check the public address of my client. So this is my the key. Okay, sorry. This is the key of my uh of my client public address of uh, public key. Okay, sorry, this is a public key for my client. So I need this public key inside the authorized uh so I copy and paste then yes enter. So now in my authorized key I have this the public key of my client okay and also I need to change the mood so let's see okay I want to change the mood uh, permission mode to only read write for the user so again change mode and 600 then all the file okay so I think I done. Now it changed to only read write. Okay. So now I should able to access it again or demo access again to my server for my client. Okay. So I successfully demo access right seventy eight here. Yeah to my server okay let's try again using the public address five eight Okay, so I'm using the public address of my server. Finger thing, yes. Okay, so I also successfully able to demo access to my server for my client. So we have solved the issue. Okay, so let me also list out what actually I have in my SSH. So inside my SSH, if you look at the file I have, also I haven't exit. So this is the file I have inside my server. So I can do it over here as well. Right, so I have only authorized key in my server. Then inside my client, I have this three form. Okay. So that's it. The file required for client is this three. For server is only authorized key. Okay, so we have solved it. Thanks for watching.